In this video, we're going to create this really cool effect that's actually pretty simple to do. Um, basically, we're going to start off with an image. In this case, it's just a circular image. I've just given it a border radius, so we'll be looking at that if you uh, don't know how to do this. And then when we hover over this, we actually get a gradual change from black and white to color. Now I'm only using one image here, I'm using a, a, a full color image. So what we're actually doing is we're going to be using CSS filter and we're going to be using the grayscale on that and changing the grayscale with a CSS transition. So we'll link quite a few things here, it's very very basic, but we'll look at how to implement this. And uh, before we start, this also w works across browsers as well. The only one this isn't working for is Firefox, but in this case, we just get a fallback to a full color image. So you can see Opera here works as well. So we've got support for this in uh, good support for this in browsers. So let's go ahead and build this effect. Okay, so to start off, we've got a basic document just out here. We've got a style sheet linked in, which is our global.css style sheet. There's nothing here. We're going to be doing this from scratch. We've got a container here with a class of profile. So this really depends on how you want to lay things out. You could create this class as a reusable class. You could call it something like um, black and white to color or something like that. But um, inside of here, we've got an image linked in from my image directory, which is just profile.png. So you only need one color image for this. At the moment, we get this effect here. There's nothing really much uh, to it. We just get square image. So let's go ahead and, and start to build this effect up. So if you've not really got this code uh, laid out, go ahead and create a basic document with everything we need. So in global.css, what do we want to do? I'm going to target the profile element. I'm going to target the image within that. Now what we also want to do is apply the filter CSS property and we want to use the grayscale uh, function to change this from a value from 0%, which would be obviously full color, to 100%, which would be 100% grayscale. So we use the filter property and we say grayscale and then we say 100%. Now we're also going to look at vendor prefixes because inside on Can I Use, which is a really good resource for things like this, you can see at the moment. We are lacking support from IE and Firefox, which we saw a moment ago. Um, but for browsers like Chrome, Safari, Opera, and a variety of other uh, browsers, particularly mobile, we can use the WebKit vendor prefix. Um, so that's that's really cool. So let's go ahead and implement this. Um, if we just go down here, we duplicate this line, and all we need to do is stick the vendor prefix on the front. That will just ensure that this works up until um, there's full support for this filter property. So now we've done that, let's take a look at what we need to do when we hover over the image. So I'm going to say profile image and then I'm going to say when we hover over. Now in this case we just want to change this to color. So oh, we haven't previewed this so let's just preview this now. We can see it's grayscale so you've now got a, a an image that's effectively you just turned grayscale. and when we hover, we want to just do exactly the same thing, but the opposite. So we say grayscale zero. We don't need to provide a percent sign here because it's a zero value. Uh, it's just an, an extra character you don't need really. So now let's implement the WebKit version of this. There we are, and we're done. So now what's going to happen when we hover, you can see that we now get this color effect. Now you could stop there really. You could just say, oh, that's all I want. But we're going to add a transition onto this. So again, under the uh, original selector for the, for the image, we want to add a transition. Now I've also got can I use open for transitions. You can see that we've got um, basically at the moment very, very good support for this. Uh, we do need WebKit vendor prefix for BlackBerry browser. Uh, you don't really have to implement the vendor prefix here in this case, but if you want to support, say, older versions of uh, Firefox, or older versions of, um, of Chrome, Safari, anything that uses WebKit, uh, feel free to. I'm going to actually do this just for the sake of the video. So for the transition, we need to, this is a little bit difficult because what we need to do is we need to specify the transition uh, for the filter. So we're gonna say filter, and then we're gonna choose the speed, in this case 600 milliseconds, or you could do uh, 0.6 seconds, or you could, I think you can do 0.6 seconds like that. 
so 600 milliseconds, and then we want to choose the type. In this case, it's ease. Now, what we also want to do is we want to provide a WebKit version of this transition for WebKit filter. There we are. So um, now that we've done that, that's now going to uh, take into account that when we hover over this image, the filter property changes and therefore it will transition it. So let's take a look at how this looks. And there we go. So when we hover over, you can see that that gradually changes from grayscale to full color. And that's how we implement a CSS grayscale to color hover effect.